Hello everybody, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Um, it is a holiday weekend here. And I know it's a holiday weekend in the Netherlands as well. So I'm just trying to see if we can, um, if I can get on the internet here with my iPad. We, because we're having some internet problems. So I hope the live is doing well. That that's working. And then I'm going to see if I can see the comments on the iPad. Otherwise I need to do it without comments uh, this time. But... Um, then I cannot answer any questions. So I'm just going to see if that works. So I think we're on the live. The only thing that doesn't work is the, um, the iPad yet. So I'm just going to see. Here we go. Got it. Yeah, it's turning. There we are. And now I need to put the comments on. Let's see if this works. I see uh, Charlene, and, uh, Charlene and Linda and Suzanne, Vivienne, Tracy. Hi, everybody. Sandy is here, Sandy Glover, Eureka Doeleman. So I do you see coming in. So I hope it all keeps working. I think the live will work. I don't know uh, if the comments will still work. Hi, Anita. Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Suzanne. I will just wait for one more minute uh, to see if we have more people coming in. And I can imagine that a lot of people are gone. It was very, I have to say, we have a lot of space here in Colorado. So I think people will be fine. It's not a park in Amsterdam, as I saw yesterday. Uh, so here we have space, but it was busy on the highway. People want to um, people want to go out, I think. So they want to go in nature here. And again, we have enough space, so it's different than a, than a park in Amsterdam. But um, So welcome, everybody. And I hope you're all enjoying your uh, holiday weekends. Hi, Miranda. Hi, hi Anita. And... Um, so first of all, so I, uh, I'm going to do red, white and blue. And why do I do red, white and blue? Because we have Memorial Day weekend here. And uh, the red, white and blue is also uh, like the flag from uh, the Netherlands. So I have some connection there as well. So I thought that would be fun. So I made some tulips, I made some poppies, I made some stars. So I have stuff to work with, which is great. Uh, so first of all, uh, the $50 gift certificate from uh, Wednesday is for Mindy Jackson. Congratulations, Mindy. So Mindy Jackson won the um, $50 gift certificate. If you like, comment or share, you make a chance for the $50 gift certificate that we will draw on next Wednesday, actually, because uh, Monday is uh, Memorial Day here. So I am uh, skipping the Monday. I will post on Facebook, but I will not do a live because I cannot do that from, uh, sorry, from home. So uh, you will see me for sure on social media. But the $50 gift certificate, the next live will be next Wednesday. Uh, and what I need to say as well, uh, we have a special Memorial Day. It's only for the, um, for the US, I have to say, this time. It is 25% off anything and then uh it is for uh the code is flag 25 on the elizabeth craft designs website hello uh from michigan hi first timer here welcome uh valerie welcome valerie and uh i see lucia amelan terry hartman car um yeah and anita says how great this combination yeah it's it's a fun it's actually a fun thing to work with so um what i want to do first because i want to do a planner page and i want to do some cards so uh, I'm going to put this aside and let me show you the flowers I'm using here before I forget. Because we don't have Anna here today because Anna is actually uh, gone for the holiday weekend already. So wish her a great weekend. So um, this is our Elizabeth Craft Designs catalog, especially for the new people. If you order something online, you can uh, find the catalog for free. You just need to kind of order it, but it is free. Uh, so you get this beautiful, beautiful catalog. I see hello from Kentucky, Texas. And um, so this is from Charlene van der Vos. This is uh, the uh, one I'm using here is the Field of Flowers. So that's the stamp I'm using. And you see them actually used here. So that is done by Charlene. So that's catalog. You can find it online. So that's where the flowers are from. What I want to do first, I'm going to do a little bit of paste on here. And I know I had a palette knife as well, because I, this is kind of going to be my Memorial Day page. So I'm going to do some paste first, then I want to do some watercolor. So I'm just going to add some hearts here. What did I take? Oh, transparent matte I have here. I see it looks different. So this is a transparent matte I have here. And I am going to do some hearts on here. 
and then I'm going to leave that to dry and then when I'm ready for the rest of the page I'm going to do some cards first oh I didn't clean my stencil so it's actually going to be you know that's fine you see I did not clean my stencil for this one you see so it's kind of it looks yucky but when we do the red and the blue there it will be all good I didn't get the ink of my stencil so I will just rub the same color over the whole page you see so there as well and I don't think I need to do the bottom so I'm putting that now in the I should have cleaned it already but I'm putting it in the um, and that's going to be okay because you I'm going to use these on there as well so you see you already see the combination of color there that will be totally fine I'm going to clean my palette knife here let me get a little cleaning cloth here so I'm going to put this away of course I can um, Oh, Joop is commenting. Thank you, Joop. Joop is taking over Anna's task, I see. Thank you, Joop. Appreciate that. Um, so the stencil I used is the one uh, also from the Art Journal line. So I'm going to put that away. Of course, I can dry it with a heat tool as well. But I have a lot of other things to do. So I made this one. Like I made some glitter. So I'm going to show you the masking with the glitter. So this card I will just simply put together because that's one I kind of... Uh, prepared already so i'm going to make this card so this is a piece of glitter which i will show you in a second how to do that and then hello hi joyce from michigan hi ilsa ilsa is coming in as well and i know i used this ribbon before and i know angelique i don't know if angelique is here this time but i think she said that she had the same ribbon as well and katrina says yes i got a stencil yeah it's a great stencil because you have different possibilities there so this one is just going to be a simple card. See, so just put the ribbon on there, fold it to the back, cut it off. And hi from New Jersey, I think. I see there. You see, so that's a piece of glitter and a piece of ribbon. So you can make some simple cards. And the technique for the glitter I'm going to show you in a second. Because I have that ribbon here, it's kind of raised a little bit. So that it would not go flat on the card. So I'm going to use a foam tape for that. And I still, there's still a lot of people here. Think, oh, it's going to be quiet on the live today because a lot of people are out and about. So I'm very happy and grateful to see you here. And um, I hope you all have a wonderful uh, weekend here in the US. And of course, we still need to do our social distancing. But I think if we're all smart and wise, we can go outside and just be careful and watch what you're doing. I think, um, I think that is uh, w the way to go for the near future. For the near future. We just need to keep watching. Hi, Emma from the UK, New Hampshire. And Katrina says, love the red, white, and blue. You know, it is fun. And um, maybe I should do a kind of color theme things, uh, like pick some colors and work with that. I know Charlene did a lot of yellow, the yellow and the turquoise. And um, it's kind of maybe, maybe pick a few colors and just play with that. That would be fun. That would be fun. Let me see where my other tape is. I got this one here. And now I need, oh, this one. I can use the little wider one as well. I'm going to use that one as well. Hi, Veronica from Oregon. Beautiful state, Oregon. Gorgeous state. Very green. And um, hello, Diane. How are you? Hi, Diane. How are you? I don't know. It's probably an answer to somebody. Hi, Honora. How are you? I hope everybody is doing okay. Hoi, zit het lintje niet ondersteboven? Oh, red, white and blue. <laughs> Yes, thank you very much. But it's stuck now. So it's blue, red, uh, blue, white, and red. Oh, I can, you know, I'm going to turn the card around. Red, white, and blue. There we are. <laughs> thank you so much. I missed that one for sure. So we're going to do the ribbon at the top then. Simple solution. Simple solution. The idea was to have it at the bottom. But in this case, we're going to do it at the top. I'm going to open my card so I can see that I'm lining it up nicely. You see, that's why it's nice to have uh, to see the comments so I can see what uh, if I mess up something that I can. You see, so very simple card. And then you can add a text, of course, or something. I can add an extra star on there if I want to, you see, so I can add some dimension there. But I'm going to show you the technique for the glitter. So that's this one. 
And uh, let me see. I see uh, Yolanda here. Hi. And everybody. Honor is good. Kathy from Ocean Shores. Wash. Couldn't wait for your video today. Thank you, Kathy. I absolutely love doing this because when I decided to uh, not do a live on Monday, I really had to have the like the staff telling me, else take the day off. I will, you know, I will take the day off by not being at the office, but I will still play in the studio because that's just what I like to do. Okay, so there's different techniques. And of course, I have a lot of Technique Fridays about the glitter. So if you're new to the glitter, and of course, you can get the 25% discount now as well. If you're new to the glitter, there's a lot of Technique Fridays using the glitter. So you can learn a lot from that. So how I did this one, I'm going to do this one different. How I did this one is... I had this stencil, so I cut out the stars from this set, so from the stars, and of course, you always save your release sheet, so this is a release sheet from like a big sheet of tape I used, because this was a sheet, or the 6 inch, could have been a 6 inch as well, roll, you re uh, save all your release sheets, hi Sanna, Sanna Lippert is watching as well, one of our guest designers, so what I did, I put this on the tape, did the blue first, then you lift this, and then I had two of these waves, and I put those like this. And then I did the red, then I did the sides, and then I did the white. So I'm going to kind of show you that technique, but then a little bit different. So these waves are done from, made from a release sheet as well. And I just put it on my, on my uh, cutting uh, mat, just took a cutting knife and just like uh, cut the wave. And what I uh, notice is when you want to do that... Don't stop. So you take your, uh, if I, well, I don't have a knife here. If this would be my knife, you start and you do it in one swirl. Don't stop here. If you do this and then stop, you get a kind of a straight end. So, because then it's hard to kind of keep going. So you just keep going like this in one time. Don't stop halfway. Don't stop halfway because then you kind of get a flat piece there. So what I have here, white cardstock with a double-sided adhesive on top. Then I'm going to take off the release sheet. And again, you save all the release sheets. So in this case, my stars will be white with this one. Because with the glitter, you work from dark to light. So, uh, if I, so that's why I could do these stars in the blue. Because your white will always be your last color. So I'm just going to put them on here. Kind of in a... Oh, I have a red piece of... Yeah, well, you will absolutely not see it, but it's actually... A, a red piece of fiber on there. So I'm going to kind of put these a little bit different that I can kind of avoid the red piece because, well, the white is an opaque, so the white should cover it. So I'm just going to, because the white glitter is the only one that's an opaque one. And um, that's different than the diamond. So white is opaque and the diamond is transparent. Okay, so I put my stars on here. Then I'm going to take my release sheet and you make sure those stars are pressed down really well. And a lot of times I have a bigger piece of release sheet as well. And always make sure that, um, that your release sheet is clean. Because if your release, sheet, your release sheet isn't clean, you get all that glitter on your tape. Okay, so then I check that and I think I'm good. And then in this case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a, I think a blue line in the center. So I'm going to do this one here. And then this one. Oh, well, you know, I can do a different, let's do a different technique. I'm going to, I'm going to kind of slide it up. I'm going to slide it up so you can see different techniques. So I'm doing this one different than the other one. And uh, so from light to dark, but because I'm working with red and blue, they're kind of both light. Oh, dark, sorry. So I don't need to be careful with those two colors. So when you want to do this technique, what you're going to do... Let me see if this is in the... Yeah, I think I'm good. Um, what you're going to do... You're going to uh, sprinkle your glitter this way down. Because if you see here, here I have that star. You see? If I do it this way, I have a pocket here. So the glitter will run underneath there. So that's why you hold it this way. So I kind of waterfall that down. So the glitter doesn't get stuck under the star. Like on the star there. There we go. So you just sprinkle. Tap it off. 
my brush and I'm going to brush it off lightly. I don't need to brush it off all the way because I know when I'm going to polish, I'm going to polish that glitter into the tip. So this is enough. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just use two filters for a second here and then I'm going to polish this one. You see, and let me show you if you haven't been working with the glitter, what the difference is. Look at that. So this part is polished and this part is not. Do you see the difference? So the polishing, the, the rubbing that glitter into the tape makes a huge difference. And for the people that are new, it's also that the, co the next color doesn't get into this one. So you polish it. And then I'm going to brush it off. Make sure it's clean. And I do the back as well. That is clean. I'm going to take this off. And now I need to watch. So there's like a f only like two specks here of the glitter. So I rub that off. You see? So now I have my first line. Then let me take two for the red as well. Just that I can kind of go a little bit faster. So now I take the second. Oh, let me put this away. So I'm going to take the... Oh, don't touch the glitter else. So that's a mistake. Don't touch the glitter. So now I'm going to put this one here. So I'm going to offset it compared to the other one. Make sure this is clean. Rub that down. And you can imagine, you can make, do it with all different colors as well. This is such a fun technique. There we go. So now I'm going to take my red glitter. And I'm going to sprinkle the reds. And again, waterfall it down. So don't make sure, and you can clearly see there's a pocket here. So don't do it this way, because then the glitter will go in there. Do it this way, kind of waterfall it down. And now you see, oh, that red is everywhere. No, I'm going to brush that red off the blue. You see, I'm going to brush it off. So that red will not stick to that blue. So brush it off. And then I'm going to polish that red one. I can do that in here as well. You see, so now that's going to sparkle. You see, and then clean it off. And that's kind of all the steps. So you can do a large, you can do large parts, you can do small parts. So it's all up to you how wide you want that waves to be. Okay, so that's good. Take this off. You see, and now you see, I have some red here on those stars. And I can just, I can do it with a small brush or I can just use my fingers to kind of rub that off. You see, so now I have my two colors. Now I think I'm going to do the rest blue because otherwise it's going to take too long. And we have so much to do. And then the stars will be white. So sprinkle that. And then you have a beautiful card, uh, like a base for a card. Or you can just add a uh, like a phrase to it. Uh, I know we have the barbecue die, so you can put a barbecue on there. Or it's all, uh, you know, that's all up to you. However you want to decorate it. So put this out of the way. And now I'm going to polish this one. You see what a difference it makes. And then we're going to make it all clean. And then do the stars white. And I think we're good. And sometimes I mess things up. And that's the thing with the Facebook Live, you know. Normally, I uh, we tape. Like uh, Technique Friday, we always tape. And then um, sometimes things go wrong and then I can stop. Sometimes I'm doing something and then I, I look at Anna because then Anna is taping. And I kind of stop in the middle here and then say, Anna, I forgot something. And then we can stop and just go on. This is live, so I need to do it like good right away. So I'm going to close these. And I have some glitter here that I will put aside. And I don't make a glitter mess here. Uh, that's... Close this one. I will put my glitter back in a second. And I don't see... Let me see if I see any... Do you sell the cardstock with the top sheet that sticks to it? Sorry, I don't know the proper name. No, we don't sell the cards. So you put the tape. So basically you take your tape. So this is a small roll. But you put your tape on the cardstock. And again, there is a, there's a ton of information of that on our... So Elizabeth Craft Designs. And then Technique Friday with Els. There's a ton of videos on there working with the glitter. Different techniques. So and now I'm going to do all the stars white. But you can imagine if you choose to... Uh, want to do the stars all in different colors you can do that as well and i know i have a like a one with um 
that I do, um, what did I do? Oh, circles, I see, I think. There's one with the glitter with circles that I do all the different colors. And that's fantasy. So for this one, I'm using my tweezers because I don't, oh, I have a little boo-boo here, but that's fine. I um, use my fine pointed tweezers because you don't want to kind of pick in the glitter there. And those stars, I can use over and over again. So these stencils, I can keep using over and over and over again. So now that is, and I'm going to use the white. And the white is opaque. And it's funny because the white is the only glitter that's a little bit more coarse than the other one. So you kind of feel kind of some depth there, which is super cool. I have to say that it's fun to, uh, so it's an opaque white. And with the white, what I do, I tap it off here, but I brush it off over my trash can. Because I don't want any contamination in my white. So I'm brushing that off here on the side on my trash can. And then you have your piece that you can put on a card. You see? How cool is that? You can make like larger pieces for in a scrapbook or in your planner. So super, super cool to use. So that's the glitter technique. So we have that part. Let me put this away. Oh, yeah. I have so much stuff with me. I need to, I need to look for parts that I can put it. You see, so that's so now you can make two different cards with different colors. So that is the glitter technique. So I hope you like that. And I know a lot of you uh, started to save the glitter colors now. And um, it's a it's a micro fine glitter, so you can do a lot with one jar. And I see I, I, I say sorry for your loss. I, I sorry I don't know who's losing somebody because I missed that part. My uh, excuse me. Uh, so the uh, red, white, and blue stars. So let me put this aside. Then is my uh, is this already dry? Uh, not totally. I have my heat tool. I will dry it a little bit. And then I want to add some uh, watercolor there and leave that to dry again. Suzanne said, brilliant demo. Thank you. Kathy says, that's gorgeous. Thank you so much, Kathy. The glitter is lots and lots of fun to work with. I promise you. It's uh... Oh, this one stays a little bit longer wet than the other one, I think. And it looks like a yucky color now because I didn't clean my stencil. But at the end, it will all be fine. Hi, Rina. Hi, Pianki. Hi. <laughs> Don't throw in any... Yeah, Harlan, exactly. Don't throw anything of the release sheets. No. Because you use that to make your own stencils, which is super fun. Uh, and Sandy says, I'm getting my glitter stash built up. Yeah, it's fun. The glitter is fun. Okay, that one. And I thought I'm just going to add a little bit of the... Um, Red and blue. Um, so I use this color for the poppy. So I'm going to use these to kind of just make a, um, a little bit of red at the top, a little bit of blue at the bottom. So kind of we have that color coming back. So that is just kind of... Oh, else. Didn't clean my brush. You see, there we go. So it's going to be dirty. I had two mistakes already here. My goodness. That's not good. That's because I call it the poppies here. Um, I did it at the office here. So I apparently, apparently the uh, green is the last color I used and didn't clean my brush. Don't want to have it like wet. So get rid of that green there. I want to have it like way too nice still. And I don't, I didn't bring my reinforcement set. So I need to do the reinforcements later, but it's all good. So kind of tap it off a little bit because I don't want it too much, too heavy. Well, that's good. And now I'm going to the blue and I'm going to use this one. And of course it looks very strong now, but I will... Uh, by adding to the page, you will not see that. I will take a picture when it's actually Memorial Day. And that's going to go on here. I saw some here. Uh, you see the... Like the sign from Evergreen was all decorated already with... Um, okay, that's just my background here. Okay, so put that away to dry. That's good. And then at the end, I can build that page as well. Okay, next one. What do I have? And of course, if you don't have our watercolors yet, 
This is the time, you know, you get 25% of the watercolors as well. Uh, so the coat is flag 25 and I absolutely love our watercolors. So it comes with a brush. You can hang this here. You can hang this here. So that's your palettes uh, that you can use as well. Absolutely love the watercolors. Okay. So what do I have? What time? Oh my goodness, it's already half an hour. So, uh... Time flies when you're having fun. So, red, white, and blue tulips. I have that card here. And I wanted to do some stripes on here. But I also have another technique that I want to show you. Let me use that with this card. I had another card that I was going to use that. But I think it will be fun with this one. So, um... I made this piece. Which is cool. So, uh, and this die, I, you know... Most people that are watching right now, I think, have this die already. That is from the Art Journal line from Ilse and Charlene. It is a fantastic die to use. So in this case, um, I'm going to make this piece first. And um, what I did, I cut it out of the tape. And uh, you've seen, the, I mentioned it earlier already, uh, this is out of the tape sheet. And it's actually something that uh, Joseph reminded me on, like... Uh, I haven't done it for a few years, I think, just cutting out of the tape because I think it was too hard. It's actually super easy. I don't know how I got that. But, so, I used this die and cut it out of just the tape. And then Joseph did it with glitter. And, of course, you can do that. And I'm going to use the glitter in there as well. As the die is on my wish list. Yeah, this, you know, you want to... Yeah, and Sandy says, Bubbles is my favorite ECD die. It is fantastic. It is fantastic. So the technique I'm showing you here, I also made this piece with that. So this is also just the tape, and I did uh, I did some foil, and I did glitter, and I colored, then I colored. I, so I did it on craft paper, and then I colored inside with my white gel pen and my uh, uh, the PN from Sakura. So that's what I use kind of to decorate this one. So that is a super cool. Look at that. Oh, I need to cut all the lip. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Fun, fun, fun. It was just one of those things that I just started coloring. Uh, so piece of white cardstock. Then I'm going to take my bubbles. And I'm going to carefully, because that's why you need to carefully take it off. Try to stay away from touching the tape. Because that's why I kind of thought that it wasn't like perfect. Because uh, if the tape hangs on your fingers. And now I'm going to go a little bit over the side. So I know I can touch it here. But normally I would try to stay away from touching the tape. And I'm going to put it here. Doesn't matter where it goes in this case. And then put it down flat. Okay. And then instead of doing this, it's always better kind of to use that release sheet. Because then when you do this and it's not stuck down well, you might pick up some of that, um, some of that tape. So if you do this... The chance to do that is way less. So rub it down. And then I'm going to cut it off. Let's see if I... Oh, you see, here we go. Now this is stuck. You see, so that was happened when it's stuck because I'm going to trim that off. Here we go. So just trimming this off. And of course, then I like to use my Tim Holtz scissor because it's not sticky and... I think everybody has that scissor or the small one or with a black handle or a red handle. That must, doesn't matter, of course. They just change color every now and then because then you might like a red handle. For me, I have or a black handle. Okay, so that's down. Now I'm going to take off that release sheet. I should be able to take it off. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. And now this would be a stencil. I can use this as a stencil again, which I might do in a second. So now this is all sticky. So you see the tape here. And in this case, I can just do glitter. But I can also do uh, foil and glitter. So that's what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to put the foil on here. Then I'm going to rub it. And I don't need to rub it too hard because uh, everything that's still sticky, I'm going to use the glitter on. You see? So... Now I have some foil here. And this piece I will use in a second as well. I need to show you that because otherwise it's a waste. We don't like waste. Uh, you see, so th this kind of looks, uh, you know, you see clearly see that the foil didn't pick on everywhere. So now I need my glitter again. Do I have some red glitter? Where did I put my glitter? Uh-oh. 
It must be here because I just used it. This must be a women's thing. Did I put them away already? Probably. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to scoop it on here because I must have a glitter. Oh, I know where I put it. Yeah, I know where I put it. It's behind me. Okay, in this case, I'm just going to tap it off here. You see, so now my glitter is on there. And then I'm going to polish that glitter kind of in there. So it's going to scratch that foil a little bit. I love that. So it's just going to pick up on the parts where the foil wasn't. And then you have a gorgeous background. Gorgeous background. Now I need to find my... Oh, the brush is here. Wait. The brush is where the glitter is as well. So brushing this off. You see, look at that. Isn't it cool? I don't know if you can see if it's uh, so. It's clearly I can clearly see it's foil with glitter, but I don't know if you can see that. But if you try this yourself, you will absolutely see that. So that's the background. Then let me show you the other technique right away as well. So I'm going to get my glitter tray again then because I need that. Get this out of the way. So. Uh, my leftover foil. What I'm going to do with that, I am going to take a piece of tape here. So white cardstock with tape on top. I need to get my white glitter back into the jar because I need a clean coffee filter for this. Get this out of the way. Alrighty. So what are you doing? So a uh, white cardstock with tape on top. And this is the leftover foil from this piece. You see, I'm doing a lot of different things here. That's why, if you see my table now, I will take an end shot, to, an end shot from the table that you can see my mess here. Um, so I'm going to put this on the tape. It will stick to the tape where there's no foil anymore. So I need to pull harder for sure because it's going to be stuck to the tape. So I'm going to take off the release sheet. And I'm going to put that release sheet here because I need to have a point that I can start pulling because if this would not been used yet, you can just put it on and take it off again. But because I used it already, the parts where I used it already will stick to the tape. Well, there's kind of a pattern in here, so let me put this on here. And then you make a super cool background. Okay, so this one I'm going to put here. Just rub it, and again, in this case, I can rub it a little bit more. And now I need to take this off. Be careful that I have a kind of a little tip. I'm going to trim it off at the ends, but I need to have a little tip to start. Oh, it's actually coming off really easy here because there's no uh, bubbles there. So where the bubbles are, I need to pull harder. So do this. And now I use my whole sheet here, you see? So now I'm going to put this here because now if, do you hear? So what you hear now is because of those bubbles, because the bubbles, Stick really hard and it doesn't need to be perfect, so I'm not going to see. You see, so now I use my whole sheet. You see, here I need to pull harder because there's more bubbles. You see, so now all the tape, all the foil is gone from the sheet. Then you can see everywhere where it's still white now is still sticky. So in this case, I'm going to use, I think, the cool diamonds and I'm going to pour that over. Did I bring, yeah, I did bring the cool diamond. I'm going to pour that over and I'm going to rub that cool diamond also in that red foil because then you kind of get a kind of more distressed look. So I'm just going to pour it over. So that's going to pick up on the bubbles, but it's also going to pick up a little bit. Oh, my jar is empty. So you see, so I'm not going to brush this off because I want that glitter to stay there because I want to scratch something here. Now it looks like this. So you see the glitter here. I'm going to want to rub that into that foil so it kind of gets a more sc uh, sc scratched or distressed look. Oh, that's here. Put my... Yeah. So now I'm going to rub that, and you will clearly see the difference. If I lift it up now, you can see that I kind of scratch that whole foil. And I have that in other huge... I always do that that way because I don't like it to be too shiny, shiny. 
You see, and now I have a beautiful background for another card. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So this way you make two backgrounds out of one piece of foil. So this is the tape with the foil and the glitter. And this is the only the foil. And then the parts that kind of were white, sticky, I filled in with the cool diamonds. Georgia says, absolutely love this technique. Thank you, Georgia. It is a crack, a crackle. Yeah, you know, you could see it's, it's all, yeah, you can call it a little bit of a crackle as well. It is, you know, it's super cool to do. So I can use that one later as well if I have time left to do things. Okay, so I was going to do my tulip cards. Let's finish that one first and then I can go to my page. So if I'm going to use this one here, yeah, that will be pretty. So I'm just going to uh, layer first. I should have done that already. Tape, tape, tape. That's what Anna always says. Else, put tape on the back already because, you know, people don't need to see you put tape on a tape on cardstock. But in this case, I need to do it. And then after this, I will start on my... Um, on my page. Super technique. It says that Inge. Hi Inge. Susanna. Susanna. Susanna Mundra. I don't know how I said That's probably. I totally pronounced it totally wrong. Probably. But. Excuses for that. Grave technique. Somebody says in Dutch. Thank you. Yeah you know. I love working with the glitter. I love. You know. The products we have are really really nice to combine. And that's what I love so much. So this one I need to center if I can do that. No, it's not center, but I can trim the card a little bit. Maybe I'll trim the card a little bit when I'm home. That's fine. Love the effect of the dye is super. Do you do you sell them? Uh, the dye, yeah, the bubble dye is uh, is from Elizabeth Craft Designs, yeah. The bubble dye is, let me show if you mean that, by the way, because that's also, that collection from Ilse and Charlene is also in our catalog. And since we don't have uh, Anna here to help us today, but we have you, it is the 1759 bubbles. So you see our catalog free for everybody that places an order. It's a free catalog. And look at the ideas that we have in there. You see, so the, the stamps call it. So if you don't have it yet, make sure to put it in your cart when you order because it's um, it's free. Oh, this goes on here. Sorry. It's free. So uh, don't miss out on it because it's, a, you know, it's a lot of ideas in there. Okay, so that one. And then this goes on here. And then I kind of need to see what I am going to do with the tulips if I'm just going to put them on there or am I going to add something so I'm just going to lay them on there first but can you see how uh, this this is actually a gorgeous card by itself so this one and then just a happy birthday here like the one from Sue or something kind of put on there like layered yeah cutting die spell check Harlan that was not me then that did that this uh, that did this mistake hi Joseph Joseph is there as well I make a lot of mistakes spelling. So red, white, and blue tulips. But it needs something. Uh, I'm going to see what I have here. It needs something. I have a little tea bag that I can put there. Like maybe. Hmm, I'm going to kind of tear this. If I'm going to add that. Kind of. Yeah, like that. And I'm probably just going to add the whole the whole bag. So this is an all a used tea bag that I have here, and because it needed something like, does ECD carry foil? Great question, uh, Sandy. Yup is watching. Be patient. Be patient. But I would love to have foil because it works so well with our products. Uh, this one I'm going to put on the edge, but I'm going to hang it, you know, I'm going to hang it over. Like have it like like this, so it's not too neat. You see, so that's a used tea bag. And then I will add my tulips. And with the tulips, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue there. And that's all I need to do. Linda, oh, for, yeah. 
One of those ribbon banner dies would have been lovely. Yeah, that's true. The ribbon, yeah. Thank you, Tracy. That is a good idea. So I might just put them like off a little bit, like not all the same. And, um, and oh, the white one. So the white one is actually watercolor paper. And I did the red and the blue with uh, watercolor and the white one because I want it to be white. I actually colored in using my uh, jelly roll. So it is white and not like, uh, you see, the, because the watercolor paper is not totally white. And tulip season was, like in the Netherlands, tulip season was not very good this year because um, everybody wants to look at the, at the bulbs. And um, there were actually so many people coming. I think I read somewhere that they took them down early. Like they, they cut off the, the flowers early because they didn't want to have so many people there. And that was at the beginning of the whole of the whole thing going on with the corona. And I want to have this down a little bit. So because now it's up too high, so I need to hold that. And just hold this down for a second. Here you go. How cool is that? That's a Dutch card, red, white, and blue. So that is from the uh, stamps from Charlene. So again, I used a uh, watercolor for the red and the blue, and the white one is gel pen. I need to put something on here to hold it down. Don't, don't want to waste my time to hold it down. Okay, so that will dry. So that's my next card, and then we're going to work on the page. And what am I going to do on that? So again, I don't have reinforcements with me because I forgot those. So first of all, I'm going to do a black line around it. And I might cover it in a second. I don't know. Because in this case, I actually do not know. A lot of times I kind of have an idea what I'm going to do. With this one, I don't. I'm going to leave space for uh, pictures. Because I'm going to add a picture from uh, Memorial Day. Here we go. So that's kind of that. And of course it will have reinforcements. And I have different elements. I have the poppies. I cut the poppy uh, like the seeds. Kind of the seed. How do you call that? Uh, oh, we had the discussions. Uh, oh my goodness. Now I cannot get to the name. I know what it is. but Okay, what's this? Help me out, uh, people. There's a name. And I always know it. But I don't know now. Let me see. Uh, what is, who's going to help me out? Well, I'm probably, it's always, uh, do those tulips have a die set too? No, 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 no. Uh, those have not a die. I fussy cut. And if you fussy cut, uh, this one. Those are our scissors. So we have scissors and tweezers. So the most fine point tweezers. And this scissor here, I can show you. I'm not going to color now because um, here, so I'm just going to go, and in this case, it doesn't need to be per perfect at all. But this scissor is, and I'm left-handed, so for me, it's very easy. So I can go in there, go, so it's very easy to cut around. So I do everything using that scissor. Alrighty, seed heads, pots. Yeah, pots, but isn't there a name? Uh, hmm. Yeah, the dye is burning florals, seed pots. Yeah, okay, it is a seed pot, but it has. I thought it had a name. But, um, okay, and then I have a lot of old stamps, and in this case, I have some that says, and I thought it would be very appropriate, and I'm also going to do probably my uh, reinforcements will be with old stamps as well, but I have a lot of old stamps here that says the American Legion, veterans, uh, veterans as citizens, so I thought I'm going to use a few of these as well, so I think that's a nice combination, and then I have all those stars, I don't want to use the very bright ones on here i might just add some white glittered stars on here as well although that's a different color and the red is uh, i'll see i'll see i'll see maybe not at all you know maybe not at all i want to have some um like this color bring this in here or i'm going to tear or i can do my leftover tea bag oh yeah i like that that's going here so i'm go just going to build something here a little bit and then I can put my pictures there later, if I want to. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh-oh, low battery. That's not good. I need to change my... Oh, I hope I stay... Uh, because of the bad internet, I have Mark's phone here. Because I didn't want to use my own phone as a hotspot. 
So I have Mark's phone here, uh, but his phone was almost dead. So now I change it. So I think we're still good. Because I don't want technical difficulties during my life. That is very stressful. You don't want that. Um, but you know, if it happens, it happens. I know uh, Martina, one of our design team members, just did a live as well. And she, uh, she had like a bad internet, I think. So it would not be the first time it happens. But, um, you know, it's always nice when things just go, just work. So this one I need to... That's, that's always what, you know, internet, it's all, you know, technique is great, but it needs to work. That is really, um, really important. Yeah, papaver will. Yeah, exactly. It's a papaver in Dutch, but um, I'll come back to it later. So am I, go yeah, I'm going to trim this off. So again, this is a used tea bag that I have here. And um just going to trim this off. And uh, because this is watercolor paper, it's kind of, you know, bubbly now. But as soon as I put that in my planner, it will be totally fine. Okay, and then I'm going to build this. Let's do this for a second. So what do I have? I have my poppies. Maybe I'm just going to build it like this. Just like the poppies. Kind of make a field of poppies. Oh, I think I like that. I think I like that. And just a simple picture yeah, I think I'm going to do that. And then just one picture here. And I can decorate it. Put it in a frame maybe. And then I want to have definitely one of the stamps here as well. So I'm going to put some tape behind that. And I love old stamps. Because it's, uh, you know, they're fun to use. And I, you know, this, I'm, I'm going through stamps. Because I need to send some to Esther. I need to send some to Dana. So I'm, you know. I have a lot of that are all like regular stamps. But then there's some in there that are really pretty as well. Papa for a seed pot in English. Okay. Thank you, Ilse. Oh, you searched it today. Okay. So, Ilse searched it today. So, Ilse, uh, uh, Ilse and Charlene, they designed, the, uh, they designed the art journal line. And let me tell you, they are working on an online class in English. Yay! Because they have it in Dutch and they are translating it to English. How fantastic is that? Very, very happy with that. Thank you, Charlene and Ilse. They are working on that. And it will be great. Because they are great teachers. And um, I don't know exactly how we're going to do it. Uh, if they make kids. I don't, I don't know if they're going to make kids. So just tell you what to get. And then uh, you can work with that. Ilse, what are we going to do? Is it going to be because Ilse is there. Ilse, do we have kids? Or are you going to make it and people can collect their own product. And then be there when you do it. So Ilse, Ilse is listening, so I hope she answers, because then I can you see the answer as well. But they are great teachers, Ilse and Charlene, and all our designers, by the way. But um, this is going to be fun. Let me see if I see the comments, because I don't see all the comments. But you will you will see it. If Ilse is... Uh, yeah, yeah, my idea to do that, yeah, to, to do it in English. But Ilse, is there a... So are you going to make it or are you going to make it like a digital class and you just give a product list to people of what they, uh, what they use in class? And of course, before this is all coming out, you know, you will get that information for sure because we will have that on our website. But uh, I know a lot of people from you uh, love uh, Ilse and Charlene's products as well. Works fantastic with the planners, of course. And... Um, so it will be, you know, it will be a great, great class. So this one, what am I, I want to have one. Maybe I'll slide one under. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do that. Then I want this one. You see, that's when the glue is not totally dry yet. You can actually shift it. Because I want to have that um, poppy there. And, of course, that's what I always say when you work with your planner. You can work on it, but you don't need to finish it. Because I can finish it later. And that's what I'm going to do with this page. I am going to finish it when I have a nice picture. And I will uh, take a picture then as well. To kind of to show you what I ended up doing with it. Because it's, um, you know, with the planner, I can come back to it. Sometimes I see people, oh, do I need to add something? Or do I need to do something? And then basically we always say, you know, just walk away from it for now. And then you come back to it later. Because you can do that. Maybe I'll paint another poppy and put a third one somewhere. I don't know. 
I don't know yet. So I kind of slide the stem here under the under the tea bag, and then the other one is going to be at the bottom there. How cool is that? This would be this would actually be a nice card as well. So I'm going to make it into a planner page, but it would make a nice card as well. This one I'm going to put a little bit lower here. I love that. And then of course it needs my reinforcements. So uh, I'm going to add those. So I will, normally I take pictures here, but I actually will take pictures at home this time and put it on the, on the, uh, on the Elizabeth Craft Designs and in the planner group later. So you can see the end results of this one. Alison, I'm a bit late. How do I find details for the online classes? That's not out there yet, Alison. Uh, that is coming. So uh, Charlene and Ilse are working at the moment on translating uh, from Dutch to English. And they may, you know, I see some, the, their work is just beautiful. Oh, there's going to be a brochure. Okay, I see. I think that's how it's going to be. So it's not done yet. So uh, we need to be a little bit patient. Um, yeah, so Honora, so it's not in English yet. They are working on it right now. And then as soon as it's available, they will post it. And we will post it as well. So you can, uh, so you know where, where to get... Um, where to get the products or where, where, what what do you need for the class? You see, so I made these absolutely not going to use these on the, this page. These will be somewhere else because that's too much, too much. Um, so I think I have a few more. So I have the poster stamps here. And what I'm going to do at home, I'm going to cut reinforcements from the poster stamps as well. What you do then, I'm going to put these on tape. So on a tape sheet. And then I, I cut my reinforcements out of it. So don't cut it just out of the out of the stamp. You're going to put your stamps on the tape. And then you're going to cut your reinforcements. So I'm going to use that for that. And I have another stamp here. Like uh, uh, Maybe I'll put one more here. Just like the flag stamp there as well. I'm going to put that there. And then I think I'm done for the day. Yeah, Alison. Yeah, you're welcome. It's going to be fabulous, I'll tell you. The, the online class is going to be fabulous. And uh, Ilse and Shaleen organized it all themselves. And um, so we will communicate with you as well, but it will all be online in a bit. Okay, I think that is it for today. And of course, this one will get a place in my planner. But of course, I still need to work on it. Here I have, you see, I started here with a, that's in the Netherlands actually. I'm just going to put it here for now. That's all fine. And then, um, uh, because then it flattens out until I'm, when I'm home, it's flat. And then I can um, add to that, add my reinforcements. And so that's the page. So that's it. The page, we have the cards, like the tulip card here. And then, and all in the red, white, and blue. And we have the cards like the glitter, and we have that piece as well. So that's it. So you see, so I combined a lot of different products here. I love doing this, kind of just play. Uh, and I have some elements left. I have the stars left. I have, of course, I have the ribbon. I have another background like this left. So lots and lots of stuff to play with this weekend. So although I might not work, I will play for sure. So thank you all for watching. I wish you a wonderful weekend. Uh, I, uh, you know, I hope you all have nice weather. We might get some snow, I think, on Tuesday. It is crazy. But tomorrow it will be a beautiful day. So thank you. Thank you, Diane. I say Tracy, Linda. Thank you all for watching. Wonderful, wonderful weekend. And I'll see you back on Wednesday. But watch, the, watch our Facebook page. So we have... Uh, Elizabeth Craft Designs, we have our family page and the planner uh, and our journal group. And of course, don't forget till Tuesday in the US, 25% discount if you use the code by checkout FLAG25. And comment, like and share to make a chance for the $50 gift certificate. I see you all back on Wednesday. Bye bye.